I know some people say that uh, you can't buy happiness, but um, I don't think those people ever bought a Bugatti Veyron. Today, I want to explain to you guys why I bought the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport and the answer is very, very simple. Main reason for buying the Bugatti Veyron is because when I was a kid, this was my dream car. I grew up wanting this car more than anything else. I, I had it on the wall, I had it as a background image on my, my phone, I had it on, you know, everywhere. I, I was longing for the day when I could maybe own a car like this. Um, but back then it was more like a dream, you know, like as a kid you dream. But, uh, but it was only a few years ago where, when I thought, you know what, instead of keeping it as a dream, why don't I put it as a goal? You know, and something happens energetically, I think, when you stop using the word dream and you say goal. Dream is something that is unachievable, hence it's a dream. But a goal is something that you can achieve, something you believe you can do, and you have a steady, clear goal, and, um, and then you make a plan and you go get it, you know. So, I don't know, some people say that uh, you can't um, buy happiness, but... Um, I don't think those people ever bought a Bugatti Veyron. So imagine if you get whatever it is that you wanted as a kid, you know, like if it's your, it could be a, your dream horse, dream car, dream um, whatever. It's gonna make you feel fulfilled. It's gonna make you feel uh, proud of yourself. So that's what that represents to me. Um, but let's take it for a spin and then we can uh, take more of a look on the car. It's so beautiful. I love it. Red interior, pearl, white. It came out 2008. This was the first hypercar ever created. The first car with a thousand horsepower. The first car to break the 400 kilometers per hour. Uh, top speed is 407 in fact. And to, uh, to unlock that speed, there's a small keyhole here and I have the spare key, or I have the, the speed key. It's up in the in the office, so I didn't bring it. We're gonna go for a drive, but we're gonna, we're not gonna go 400 kilometers per hour today. No need for this beaky. But this is such an iconic car. If you think about it, this car means way more to me than the money I paid for it. You know, so um, it really is a very special car to me. So this is this is the reason why why I bought it. Um, but uh, let me start it up, and uh, you will listen to this beautiful W16 engine incredible sound. Listen to this. That is a beautiful sound. Leave me thumbs up right now if you think that sounds absolutely incredible. But let's go for a spin right now. How does it feel driving on a normal day-to-day -day basis with us? I love driving it. It's not the best daily driver, that's for sure. Um, I enjoy driving my Porsche much more uh, when it comes to like daily driving. But when I take this baby for a proper spin and I go out on, uh, on the big roads and I push down the throttle, then let me tell you, that is fun. Um, the acceleration in this car is absolutely insane. I love it, like I love this car so much. and. But again, mostly what it represents for me and to me, rather than um, the driving experience, I would say. So I heard that this car has a crazy turning radius. Yeah, it's probably the worst turning radius of any car in the world. This car was meant and built to go super fast in the straight line, you know? But to turn, no, it's not really meant to turn. <laughs> It's a bit funny, but that's actually the case. What is like the maintenance cost or something like this? Tires cost $50,000 to change. After three tire changes, I had to change all the rims as well. That's $100,000 because the tires were, men, uh, were made only for this Bugatti Veyron specifically to go very fast and they are glued to the rims. Meaning that they need machines to like pull them off and that uh, destroys the rims. So after three changes, we need new rims. So yeah, it's quite expensive and the insurance is um, $40,000 a year um, and met, there are many expenses. They rack up quite quickly, let me tell you that. When did you say this car was made? This specific car, 2010. 
I don't think they had Bluetooth in 2010. No Bluetooth. It's a CD player, so uh, I do have um, CDs that I'm using for that. Um, it's back in the days, you know. But the cool thing is that this uh, car looks quite modern still. It doesn't look... I don't think it looks uh, outdated. Some of you might not know this, guys, but I was making some music when I was younger and this will be the first time I tell you that um, I actually made a song and I uploaded it on Spotify back in 2012 so that's like two years after this car was uh, made back then I, I was um, let's say a nobody you know I, I didn't I didn't have much I didn't uh, do much I was um, I think still in school or something and let me now play you the song that I uploaded back in 2012 that I wrote myself I, I'm singing in the song and I uh, I uh, produced it and, and everything so here you go let me put it on Maybe, maybe. Let's see if we can reach 100,000 streams on Spotify. Let's put the link down below. If you guys want to go and uh, listen to this, uh, the full song. Uh, but remember, I made it in 2011, 12. So don't be too hard on me, guys. Uh, but yeah, go and uh, listen to it. And when we reach 100,000 streams on Spotify, maybe then I will release a gift for you guys. So right now, I checked my Spotify and somehow you guys found the song already so now i have 400 monthly listeners on spotify 400 so let's see if we can make that uh, at least a thousand uh, would be amazing so go and listen to the song i, I hope you enjoy it and uh, use this song for inspiration if you feel like you need to be inspired motivated listen to this song and remember that when i made this song i was a broke guy who dropped out of school uh, and now I am uh, Karl Runefeld driving a Bugatti in Dubai. So everything is possible, guys. Walk on water um, today represents to me motivation, inspiration. So um, listen to it and get motivated. That's all I can say. And I like the song, you know. Sometimes if I feel down, if I feel like I need motivation, I turn on walk on water and I get motivated and then I go get it again, you know. <laughs> so. Um, it means a lot to me, this song, to be honest. Um, maybe more than Bugatti itself, actually. Yeah. Okay, so now that you had this car for some time, what is your favorite thing about the car in 2023? I think my favorite thing about this car is how it looks. It just looks incredible. I think it looks like, like nothing else on the road, you know? Um, and sure there is the Padanis now there is the Bugatti Chiron but but they can never be the Bugatti Veyron the first hypercar like w when this car came out I remember that it was like it was really everything it was the most iconic car in the world and um, I, there's just no other car like it and to this day I feel like the Bugatti Veyron carries that charisma and I love it I love it. But if I have to choose something else, which is my favorite thing, it must be the acceleration. It's just incredible. Let me go out on the big road here and let me show you how fast this car is because it's just my fault. All right, guys, so now I'm going to put it in sport. Listen to this. Damn. That and I'm going to press here and then the uh, uh, wing goes up. Look at that. So now the wing is up and the handling is in. Now check this out. That is fast. That is fast. I can tell you that the turbo sounds are so loud in here. Yeah. Aside from the performance of the car, the symphony of it is a different situation. It sounds incredible. Yeah, this sound. You don't get this sound in other cars. Like this, uh, the um, the uh, air intakes. That's why it sounds so much. They're right behind us here. 
and um, if we take off the roof, which we could by the way, uh, maybe in the, my next video, let's do that, you can hear it even better. Does this button also mean that we much lower? We are much lower now, handling is better and uh, and more downforce because of the spoiler and uh, I did take this car to the track one time which was a bit of a edgy move but uh, I can leave a link down below to that video uh, once and never again because that is uh, expensive and dangerous to put this car on the track but uh, it's been done at least as a passenger I can tell you that slowing down in this car feels very safe yeah the brakes are good and expensive. I don't remember the price, but I don't want to change the brakes. <laughs> I don't want to change the brakes. It's probably also like fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars, some crazy number like this. So, so yeah. It's a unique car, so it would have unique prices. Sure, sure. That is definitely oh, the case. We have more traffic. Beautiful. All right, so we're back to the office now. I actually have a couple of meetings, so we are gonna have to um, end this video. But guys, I would be super happy if you wanna uh, support me on Spotify. <laughs> go listen to my song. And uh, Spotify is actually free, so anyone can go and listen to it. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button right now. Go and watch my other videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being amazing. And if you want to see more Bugatti content, it's on my channel. You can also click right here, right now. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye-bye.